Hello and welcome to c -sharp Data Structures and Algorithms. My name is Eugene Agafonov and I will be with you during this course talking about c -sharp implementation of foundational data structures and algorithms. Before we switch to the course content, let me briefly introduce myself. I currently work as a development manager for intelligent document processing solutions. I have over 15 years of professional experience as a software developer and a software development manager. I also was Microsoft MVP for 12 years since 2006. And I published two books about C-sharp concurrent and multi-threaded programming. You can always reach me at Eugene underscore Agafonov, which is my Twitter handle. All right, let's take a look at what topics we're going to cover during this course. First, the section one is introduction and getting started information. Then, from section two to section six, we will be step by step reviewing C sharp implementation details of foundational algorithms and data structures, like arrays and strings, linked list stacks and queues, dictionaries and sets bit manipulation techniques, recursion and dynamic programming problems, and trees, heaps, and graphs. To follow along this course, you will need access to any computer which is able to run VS Code and .NET Core. Below you can see software and hardware requirements for Visual Studio Code. You can run it on Windows, on Mac OS, and on Linux. I also expect you to have basic knowledge of C-sharp and programming concepts. Of course you will need it because all programs in this course are written in C-sharp and you will need to understand it. My intention of creating this course is to help you learn a strong foundation of algorithms and data structures, understand how it relates to your daily programming tasks and why it is important to know which C-sharp collection corresponds to which data structure. You will also learn how to compare algorithms and pick the best for your concrete specific task and measure C-sharp program performance. And now, as we made sure that algorithms and data structures are very important, let's get started. 